Hi, thanks for joining. So today what I want to do is I want to talk about content organization within SharePoint 2010. So one of the newer features within SharePoint 2010 is you can now organize your content um, on upload. So anytime someone uploads a document, it can pretty much send it to a specific library or folder um, based on the metadata or the file name of the particular uh, document. So just to start off here, site features level, there's an option called content organizing, content organize, organizer, and it's pretty much it'll allow you to create metadata based rules that move content submitted to the site to the correct library or folder. So pretty much I've already enabled it. And once you enable it, you see some new features or some new options within your site settings or in particular underneath the site collection administration or sorry site administration section and the two options that you enable when you turn on that feature is content organization settings and start content organization rules so if I click on content organization settings pretty much I can set exactly how I want the organization to be driven within this site so I can redirect users to the drop-off library um, so also when you enable this feature, it creates a special library called Drop-Off Library and um, send, sending to another site so I can allow it so we can have the have target locations off of this site and a bunch of other options here which you guys can pretty much go through when you guys enable it. Um, so for the interest of time, I'm just going to click Cancel since I've already set that up and I have a couple of rules set out already. So a lot of my rules are just based off of regular con document content types, um, but what I'm doing is the rule is based on the, the file name and the extension of the file name. So based on the extension of the file name, it'll go to a specific library, and this is what these rules are specifying. So I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but I'll go through, let's say, the VSC or the Visio rule. So if I click on it, or I'll just go to edit more rather, so this is the VSD rule. I set the active priority to one. So basically the content type is a document. And one of the properties that I specified is the name of the document. If the name ends with VSD, it's going to go into the Visio diagram. Okay, so once I specify that, I click OK. And of course I'll click cancel since I already have the rule. So what this does is anytime there's a document with the extension VSD, it's going to send it to this folder right here. So pretty much it's going to send it to the Visio Diagrams folder. Okay, so pretty much that's the bulk of the setting up of the content organizer within SharePoint. Um, so we can see it in action. So what I'm going to do is delete this document and what I'll do is just for the interest of time I'm just going to upload a document here okay so I'll upload this Visio drawing click OK and pretty much you're going to see this little yellow uh, message bar here, here uh, message bar saying content organizer. This document will be automatically moved to the correct library and full and folder after required properties are filled out. Okay, so pretty much again, like I said, the rule is based on the file name. So the file name is going to check the extension, and if the extension matches the rule, it's going to put it into its respective folder. Okay, so I click submit. And now what happens is I'll get a little message here saying the document was successfully submitted and saved to its final location. If the rule was not matched and there is no rule for the particular extension or whatever the file is that's being uploaded or being created within this site or within this library, it would give you a different message. It would say this file is pending um, an administrator approval. So pretty much that means that SharePoint didn't know how to handle that file, so it just left it in its place, and it'll just leave it in the drop-off the drop library. Okay, so I click OK, 
And what's going to happen is, of course, I'm not going to have anything in this drop-off library because it's already been put to its specified location based on the content rule and the content organization feature. So if I go to my Visio Diagram folder, I now see my Visio Diagram um, diagram pretty much in the library that I set the rule up for. So I'll give it a try again. So I'm going to upload another item. So let's try an Excel worksheet. Okay, so I click OK. And again, we have the same message as before. We click Submit. And again, it said the document was successfully submitted. Its location will change depending pending action from a site administrator. So pretty much what this means is that it looks like my uh, my rule for the Excel sheets was probably not correct and SharePoint didn't know exactly where to put it. So I click OK and now you're going to see the document here because it didn't know where to put it. So I'm going to go back to my rule real quickly and take a look and see where I might have messed up. So I'm going to go to Content Organiza Organizer Rule. I'm going to go to the Excel rule. Click on Edit. And I'm going to take a look here. So let's see what I did wrong. Okay, so it looks like what it is is all the conditions need to be met. And what I did was I had two conditions here. So um, the rule will be satisfied if the value of the extension equals XLSX and XLS. So I think if I remove this and then I click OK, now I think my rule should work. Wish me luck. So if I go back to the drop off, and I don't need to re-upload it, I can just click on Edit Properties, and I can just do Submit again, and there we, there we have it. The document was successfully saved to its final location. So pretty much that was it. The, the um, logic is all the rules have to be satisfied. It's not an it's not an or or operand it's pretty much an and and operand so essentially once I remove that other and operand and just left it as the XL, X, SLX um, extension the rule was satisfied and thus sent to its proper location so I click OK and there we have it our document library is empty again and if we go to our Excel library here we have our document in its rightful place Okay, so pretty much what we talked about was just content organization or the content organization feature within SharePoint 2010 and exactly how to set it up and once you set it up how it works and how you can utilize it within SharePoint.